an application of linear systems. An airplane flying into a headwind travels the 2,000 mile flying distance between Tallahassee, Florida and Los Angeles, California in 4 hours and 24 minutes. On the return flight, the airplane travels its distance in 4 hours. We want to find the airspeed of the plane and the speed of the wind, assuming that both remain constant. So let's draw a diagram so you can see what's happening here. We have the original flight. So original flight. And the distance it's traveling is 2,000 miles. And the time it takes is 4 hours and 24 minutes. So it's saying it's flying into a headwind. So let's show here is our wind flying into the headwind. So it's slowing down the plane, right? The original flight. Missing my H here. Okay, now let's look at the return flight. And so the wind is still traveling the same direction and speed so that's what it means to remain constant so it's going to make the plane go a little faster so this distance is still 2000 but now the return flight is only four hours right so that it's making it go faster so r1 we'll, we'll just label r1 is the airspeed of the plane and then R2 will be the speed of the wind. So let's write an equation here. So original flight. On the original fi flight, we're going to have R1, the airspeed of the plane, minus the speed of the wind, right? So that'll give us um, a certain speed there. And so that equals the speed of the plane against the wind, right, on the original flight. So it's going to be slower. Right? You subtract the wind because it's making it slower. Then in the return flight, it's going to make the plane go faster. So it's going to be the speed of the plane plus the speed of the wind, right? So the speed is going to be for both of well, the speed of the plane will be faster. So this is speed of plane with the wind. What do they call it? Tailwind. So those are going to be our rates. So the formula we're going to use is distance equals rate times time. So we know from our, our equation here, or our word problem here, is distance is there 2,000 miles. The plane is traveling 2,000 miles each way, so that's the same. And then the rate, so our first rate is R1 minus R2 for the original flight. And then our second rate is R1 plus R2. Okay, so we have two different rates. Then we have the two different times. So let me just notate time here. So the time of the original flight we know is 4 hours and 24 minutes or 24 over 60. And then for the return flight, that time is just 4 hours total. So we know distance. Distance is 2,000. Our rates, here they are, rate 1 and rate 2. And then we have our two times. So let's use this equation here. So for the first equation, it is 2,000 equals, let's do the first rate of R1 minus R2 times the time of 4 plus 24 over 60. Then our second equation, the return flight, is 2,000 equals the R1 plus R2 times the time of 4. So let's simplify this a little bit. So let's work with the fractions on this equation here. 
24 over 60, so we need to add these fractions, so let's get a common denominator. Uh, what I want to do is reduce 24 over 60 first, and 12 can go into both 4 and, I'm sorry, 12 goes into 24 and 60. So let me do the work here for just converting this to a single fraction. So 4 plus 2 goes into 24, I'm sorry, 12 goes into 24 two times. 12 goes into 24 two times. 12 goes into 60 five times. Now we need a common denominator, so we're going to multiply by 5 over 5 to 4, to the 4 only, to get 20 over 5 plus 2 over 5. So we're looking at the time is 22 over 5. Okay, so that's the time that we'll plug in here. So 2,000 equals R1 minus R2, and then we're gonna multiply that to that time of 22 over five. Now let's go ahead and uh, clear the fraction. So what I wanna do is multiply by five to both sides. So then we are looking at five times 2,000. 5 times 2,000 is 10,000, so I'm just trying to make this into nicer problems. R1 minus R2, and then times 22. I do need to distribute, but what I could do is reduce a little bit more. So I have 22 and 10,000 here. So what I could do is divide by 2, just to make it a little bit smaller. So 2 goes into 22 11 times, 2 goes into 10,000 5,000 times. So for our first equation is 5,000 equals R1 minus R2 times 11. And then let's distribute that. So 5,000 equals 11 R1 minus 11 R2. And there is our equation one. Now equation two is a little bit faster. We have 2,000 equals R1 plus R2 over uh, times four. So let's divide by four. So we find that we have 500 equals R1 plus R2 for equation 2. So now we can solve the system. We're trying to find the speed of the plane, which is R1, and the speed of the, one, um, the wind, which is R2. So let's multiply the bottom equation. So let's uh, eliminate, eliminate R2 by multiplying by 11 to the second equation. So when we do that, we get um, 11 times 500 is 5,500 equals 11 R1 plus 11 R2. 11 R2. And then we're going to add it to our equation 1. So 5,000 equals 11 R1 minus 11 R2. Two. Okay, so again, this is equation one, and this is our changed equation two. Then add them together. So this equals 10,500 equals 22R1, and R2 cancels. Divide by 22. So we find that the speed of the plane is 10,500 over 22 or using your calculator, you would find that it's 477.27 miles per hour for the plane speed. Now let's find the wind speed. So we know what we need to do is plug in R1 into one of the equations. So I'm going to plug it in into the original equation too. That'll be, uh, I think, a little faster to solve. So 500 equals R1, 477.27 plus R2, so subtract 477.27 from both sides. So what we'll find is that the speed of the wind is about 22.73 miles per hour. So go ahead and try out this example here. In example eight, the return flight takes four hours and six minutes. So it's pretty much the same problem. Um, the only difference is the return flight is four hours and six minutes. Um, and so just try solving for this equation here. So 
So if you tried it out, you would find that the airplane speed is 471.18 miles per hour, and the wind speed would be 16.63 miles per hour.